Okay, box number two, here we go. So the first box, oh my gosh, let's, let's do this right. Cut it, actually cut it open. Box number one turned out to be about $134, just the rares and mythics. There's a lot of uncommons that are over a dollar right now. However, those are probably gonna drop. Um, the interesting thing about all these planeswalkers, since there's so many, you are definitely not gonna get a playset. The most I got of any planeswalker was two. So if you get three, I think you're pretty lucky. Um, so you're definitely, it's going to be a little different. Flux Chamber is our first foil. It's just going to be a little little different. Um, let's see here. Let's leave room for our Mythic. Um, then other sets. Since, since I know people probably want four of each Planeswalker. Bloss Citadel. Seems to be good. Let's put those over there. So, yeah, this is going to be a really fascinating set. I have a feeling it's just going to... Okay, I need to start doing the... Domery. I need to... Hold on a second. Okay, just had to get a little bit more organized. Last time was a cluster. I was just so excited to crack these. I just threw them everywhere. So, Mismum Tank, first time I've gotten that rare, I think. So, yeah, I entered all these in the TCG Player app, and that's where I got about $134. Um, and again, that was just rares and mythics, so not too shabby. Uh, store of... Devakin Lich. First time we've gotten that one too. So we got two gods. I don't even I don't think we even got a finale. Which I've been seeing a lot of people got like all the finales. Um we got a foil. Tamio's Epiphany. That's a pretty foil. I was really hoping the the book was gonna be good because I almost bought it. I actually got a signature by Greg um, at uh, the Seattle Comic Con, and I was like, man, I need to buy this uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. And man, I am so glad that the prof did a review and was like, this is garbage, and it's really disappointing because um, I think it was a good place that if they could have gotten the lore down. That would have pulled so many people in uh, to magic. I feel like just the lore, like people would have dove in into to all of that. Especially now you got Game of Thrones ending, which brought a, probably brought a lot of people into kind of the fantasy world, in my opinion. And they're kind of looking for the next thing. So then you have magic, you know, which has obviously been here for a while, but people are don't know about it. Uh, Teferi Time Raveler. First one we got that. That's like one of the top rares at the moment. All right. Roll reversal with a foiled Teo's light shield. We have Tamio and Teo. Light shield. So we got seven foils. So you're basically looking at one third of the box has foils in it. Time wipe. So we already got our foil mythic, which was a little bummed out. Dreadhorde butcher. A little bummed out it wasn't something. I mean, it was, pre it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It's $35 by itself. It's a nice emblem. Oath of Kaya. Teo. There goes my commons. Commons down.
Mm, mm, mm. Zombie Forest Awakening of Vitugazi. Sahili. There we go. I think that's the better way to do it. Start from the back. I'm just a noob, guys. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I'm just a hardcore noob. Jace. That's what we want to see. Some Jace action going on there. Oops. I don't know why I just did that. See? I can't even... I start going from the back, and I just don't even know what's going on. <sighs> Vivian. With the Dovin's Vito, that's so that's but that's a dollar right now. So definitely getting a place out of those and selling those right now for hopefully four dollars on eBay. Not bad. Oh, Karn's Bastion is our foil rare, which you know it was a three dollar rare um, with the Johnny. So who knows what that's going to be worth in foil? It's pretty sweet. We haven't pulled a Karn or an Ugin yet. Um, and we really, we were soft on, we only got, f well, we got five Mythics, one of them being a foil last time. Enter the God Eternals. So this really looks like a softer box so far. Weak salts. Spark double. Spot double. It's going to be interesting. That's a rare that's going to be fascinating to see. Um, the, the text that makes this really bad is you control. If this was like anything, that would just be ridiculous. Unlikely aid. Mobilized district. That would just be everybody would want that card. Just someone throws down a Liliana's Dread Horde. Spark Double. Thank you very much. Single combat. Terrible. See, so guys, still just a noob at this. Evolution Sage. Gonna go in. Um, gonna go in pretty much. Every land matters decks that you put tokens on, if you like. Tamio, collector of tales. Man, I feel like that this is just not a good hitting box, but we will find out. Ignite the beacon. When we add everything up, who knows? Planet wide celebration, terrible rare. Create a two two citizen creature that is all colors. That's 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 gonna matter somewhere, but not enough in the standard format to do anything. Command the Dread, Dread Horde. It's a good... I just feel like that's going to just be awesome. In Commander... Let's see here. Massacre Girl, Ashiok. I think that's the best... That is the best uncommon Planeswalker at the moment as far as price goes. There we go. Ugin. Sweet. All right, we're down to our last little stack here of packs. Definitely a softer box. We, uh, oh my gosh, we don't have any mythics. We have zero mythics right now. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I just realized. Zero mythic box. What is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> if we get a zero mythic box on film, that's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, okay, we got a rare Tamio Collector Tales. That's gotta be good. So we got a f two foil rares, but 
no mythic so far. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. Zero mythics. What is this? Okay, <laughs> there it is. And it's a dinosaur. It's the finale dinosaur. Probably not, I don't know. So these all better be mythics right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I better get like all the finales all of a sudden. Spark Harvest. There's, oh, okay, there's Karn. But still, one mythic box? Oh my gosh. I mean, I appreciate that. I feel like they've upped the four rares, it seems like, in other box openings. Mobilize District. But, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. And this. Oh no. Oh guys, I'm nervous. I'm getting real nervous right now. And I saw unsealed. He didn't get he didn't get a foil mythic on his case. <sighs> Our set reversal. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully that means like there is a huge, <sighs> uh, a huge like amount of mythics in another box. We're done. We got two packs left, two freaking packs, and one mythic. <sighs> oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Ugh. All right, a two mythic box. We've gone up 100% in our mythics. Oh, come on, come on. Just one more mythic, please. Give me, give me like, give me Lily, give me Lily. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay. So instead of a mythic, in lieu of a mythic, we got two four rares. That was close, guys. Pulled out three mythics, two four rares. Okay. <sighs> Close. All right. So I still think that this is a worse box than the other one, but I could be wrong. I have no clue what the prices are on on these foils. Um, I'm sure the market's going crazy right now. So, um, man, that was scary, guys. The last six packs or had or seven packs, had all the mythics. Whew. All right, I got to go have a drink after that one. You guys take care.